well, we know Splatoon is coming out. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, what else can you say about that? They're going to have Splatoon Amiibos. Oh, I can't wait for Splatoon. I'm so excited for N- Splatoon. Nintendo shooter. I think it's a cool idea. Well, I think it's innovative. Shooter, but it's like everyone keeps wanting to call it Nintendo's Call of Duty or Nintendo's Halo. But all shooting an opponent does is incapacitate them for a moment for the larger strategy, which is covering everything in your color yeah, of paint. But it's you the- get no points for shooting. Sure, it's still a strategy to employ, right. but yes. So it, it's a very different it's, type of game. It's like a Nickelodeon looking game. It's, if, it, if it was like Nickelodeon no, You're had saying it. that because the original trailer had an orange ball bouncing around well, and yeah, now it's no, permanently in your think head. Think of a Nickelodeon game show or Nickelodeon doing a game it would look like that. Either Fair way, enough. it looks fun and people are excited about this and people are always like, oh, what's Nintendo's new IP? They're just doing Mario and Zelda games. Yeah, Here no, you go. Fuck you. I've said it and, and you can go, whoever's listening can go back through all the podcasts <laughs> I, to, we call this a year ago. To last year ago, yeah. I said Splatoon was the game that I am most looking forward to playing on the Wii U, yeah. and that still stands. And I cannot it? wait. For Going it. back to E3 last year when they yeah. first announced it, I was like, "Oh, this looks really cool. It looks awesome. It, it, I think it will sell a lot." This is we're we're now two years and what four months or into the the Wii U's life, and this is the year where okay, you're gonna have Star Fox. They might have pushed back uh, the Zelda game, but that's still around the corner. So we are here now. Well, here's the fucked up thing. People can still make the argument that there's not a ton of games for the Wii U. And I know the Wii U's been out longer. But um, you're not getting any better bang for your buck out of your PS4 or your Xbox One. And I'm a guy who has a PS4. Well, I mean, because you can just buy those games for PS3. Yeah, you know, and it's just... I, 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 I very much enjoy the care that Nintendo is putting into these games. And I, and I appreciate that they're... Because it, this is... A, Splatoon is a big risk for Nintendo. Because Splatoon is largely online only. Now, there is going to be a single-player mode for Splatoon. But the main meat of the game is single is, is online. You need the gamepad to play the game properly. So it's a gamble for Nintendo to really go all in on it. Like a game like, well, and this is where I guess you can kind of say that. Like a Call of Duty where it, most people are p- buying it only to play the online mode. Sure. Not the single But player. this is mostly, from what I understand, this is going to be heavily, it's a team game. Yeah, it's not just you know a death match you go around and shoot people like you. No, if, it sounds like if you don't have if you go against a team that's decent and you don't have your shit together, you're not going to get far. No. So because- in terms of tactics, the tactics will will be. Uh, just as good if not greater than a quote unquote military first person shooter and what I love about it is you know I think about it and I think about all the problems with first person shooters like boom headshot hack controllers and shit like that that doesn't so much matter in a game where you have to coat an area in paint like you still it doesn't matter if you're shooting faster you still have to code and you still it, 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 it's tagging you, they'll, you they'll, ha- they'll come out with the mods for the Wii U controller so you can shoot faster yeah, I mean, but, but control- even that is, is minimal you know this this is a game that I'm hoping yeah, fingers crossed this isn't is, a, is not going to fall prey to hackers this isn't as much a twitch game right. this isn't me playing Unreal Tournament and some asshole blow my head up with a lightning gun mm. at a moment's notice you know it's not as as, as frustrating as that you still gotta be good and know how to aim and know how to react, but it's not just you're dead right. and that's it. So for that, I like it. What do you think about? Do you care at all about Mario Kart adding a 200 CC mode? Yeah, I do. Um, I actually love playing on 150 CC. I only play on 150 CC. So do I. I think it's the perfect speed in that. I do. If if, if you play the game a little bit in practice, 150 it isn't too quick, but it isn't too. It's that sweet spot where it's still challenging. If you don't, if if your racer isn't the right, you know, you can still screw up if you're not careful. Listen. 200. That could be a little bit overboard for me personally, but I can see why people would want it. But someone like me who like really enjoys like games like Wipeout and plays them on like the fastest you know difficulty settings. And granted, these days I suck at them. But I mean, it's really you have to close your eyes and just do it by muscle memory. It's something that I think could be a lot of fun, especially if they include it for free. Um, that's a biggie. I don't think I don't think you should you should, you should have to pay for something that's literally them saying oh upping the speed and oh, I don't, up the speed twenty five percent or whatever. And 20%. I don't think Nintendo's going to. I think it'll be just in a normal update, like when we uh, just like how Smash got the more um, more eight player levels. You know, I think that's something that they're just going to give us. And I may dial it back down to one fifty cc, but I'm going to be really excited to try two hundred cc on some of those tracks. Sure, I still haven't bought the DLC for Mario Kart. Can you I get the, can really I, fucking need to. Can I get the combo deal still? Or is that gone? To get, to get both? 
Uh, you for... might still be able to get the combo deal. You just won't get the bonus Yoshi Shy Guy color. Oh no! Um, and even if you can't get the combo deal, dude, you're not paying more than I think 15 bucks for like 16 more but tracks. I wanted to be Shy Guy. Well, you can still be Shy Guy, just mm -hmm. as normal colored Shy Guy. Mm -hmm.